Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and I will be talking about Frida Kahlo. Who exactly is Frida Kahlo? She is a Mexican artist noted for her surrealistic style and passionate self-portraits. Frida was born on July 6, 1907 in Mexico City and her life was filled with physical and emotional struggles. Despite her grief and difficulties, she sought refuge in painting and got intimately involved in Mexican art trends such as surrealism and magical realism. Her artwork addresses issues of identity, gender, and Mexican culture, frequently relying on personal experience that she went through. She achieved international acclaim at the end of her career and is still regarded as an icon of female creativity and endurance. It was just a visual journal for Frida, a brutal emotional picture of the horror she suffered. She made remarkable self-portraits that were both intensely personal and outspokenly political, loaded with symbolism, meanings, interpretation, and references. Frida art evokes tenderness, femininity, and the power of singular soul, the feminine quality of truth, reality, brutality, and suffering somewhere between surrealism, realism, and symbolism. Diego Rivera, a painter, famously said of her, never before had a woman put such agonizing poetry on canvas as Frida. Other than that, Frida once quote, I never painted dreams, I painted my own reality. So what is surrealism towards her? Surrealism was an important part of Frida's creative expression. Surrealism is an artistic ta- style that explores dreamy and magical themes through unlocking the powers of some conscious mind. Surrealistic elements were included into her art which combined realism with symbolic and imaginary images. As you can see, there are three paintings that were created by her. The first one is the portrait with cropped hair and then there's a little deer that was painted on 1946 and the last but not least is the painting of the self-portraits on the borderline between Mexico and the United States that was painted on 1932. Moreover, surrealism enabled to portray her inner feelings, want and anxieties in ways that went beyond typical realistic portrayal. Surrealism enabled Frida to overcome physical limits and dig into depth of her mind, resulting in extremely intimate and evocative artworks. And these are just a few of her amazing artworks that she has produced throughout her years. Throughout her career, Frida produced 55 self-portraits including self-portrait with thorn, necklace, and hummingbird. Because of the dramatic atmosphere in which it was produced and the symbolic character of its iconography, this painting remains one of her most widely recognized self portrait This art was produced in 1940, one year after her divorce from Mexican muralist Diego Rivera. Given the period of its production, it is commonly assumed that self-portrait with torn necklace and hummingbird is a depiction of her emotional state following the couple's divorce. Frida is shown in the artwork in front of greenery between a stalking panther and a monkey. A little background, she and Rivera had several monkeys as pet, leading me to believe they were surrogates for the children the couple was unfortunately unable to have. She wears a necklace made out of thorns and ornamented with a deceased hummingbird around her neck. Despite the fact that the strange item pulls blood from her neck, her countenance stays stern. This serene response to sorrows in, is typical of Frida who said even when crushed by her divorce that at the end of the day, we can endure much more than we think we can. The two Fridas, like self-portrait with torn necklace and hummingbird, was created in response to her separation from Rivera. Frida explores two sides of herself with this work. On the left, she portrays herself as a heartbroken woman dressed in a classic European gown. On the right, her heart is complete and she is dressed in a contemporary Mexican gown, which was adopted when married to Rivera. The two Fridas are holding hands as they share a bench. This hug, however, is not the only thing that binds them. A single vein erupts from their hearts and loops around their arms. Frida slices the vein with medical scissors on the left, causing it to bleed. 
The vein on the right leads to a miniature image of Rivera held by Frida and almost imperceptible to untrained eye. This is one of a kind self portrait, most likely portrays Kahlo's inner identity battle as she grapples with her divorce. Through it, it appears to be a tribute to surrealistic art. Uh, Frida argued that such imaginary was rooted in actual life and hence had a direct expression of herself. I never painted dreams or nightmares, she says. I am a painter of my own reality. So how did she impact the world? Frida, unique artistic style and emotionally charged self-portrait challenge traditional art convention. She depicted her pain, emotion, and personal experience in a raw and honest manner, paving the way for other artists to explore their own narrative and emotion in their work. Other than that, Frida infused her artwork with Mexican culture symbolism, celebrating her heritage and promoting Mexican culture to the world. She incorporated traditional Mexican clothing, symbolism, and folklore in her paintings, helping to elevate Mexican art and identity globally. Moreover, Frida, life, and art continue to inspire and captivate audience around the world. Her relentless spirit and resilience in the face of physical and emotional hardship have left a legacy that transcends art. Many people find strength in her ability to transform pain into art and use her experiences to create powerful and meaningful work. Overall, Frida Kahlo's impact extends far beyond the art world. She has become an enduring figure of inspiration, empowerment, and cultural pride, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to shape and influence the world today. Frida Kahlo's impact on the world undeniably beautiful and profound. Through her art, she fearlessly expressed her pain, struggles, and experiences, challenging artistic convention and inspiring a new generation of artists. Her depiction of the female experience and exploration of cultural identity have ignited conversation about empowerment and representation. Legacy extend through her iconic imaginary, her renaissance as a feminist icon and her celebration of Mexican heritage. Her ability to weave personal narrative into vibrant and emotive artwork continues to captivate and inspire audiences worldwide. Frida's artistry, strength, and resilience have left an inedible mark on the world, reminding, uh, reminding us of the transformative power of self-expression and the beauty that can emerge from the most challenging of circumstances. That's about it about Frida Kahlo, and thank you for listening.